guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. This week, what I have for you guys are five by Carlos Roberto style hacks. These are style hacks that I use every day. You guys have probably seen most of these hacks that I show you worn on my clothing uh, through my style. So I want to share with you guys five style hacks that I do that are personal to me that I want to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin these five men's style hacks that I have for you today. If you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so right now. There's a subscribe button right here or right here. Just click that and you guys will be able to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit that door bell button or that bell button so you get notified every time I upload amazing videos like the one I'm doing for you guys today. For all of you who have already subscribed, also known as my Young Space, welcome back. And for all my new subscribers or for you guys who had to subscribe right now, thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and begin this five style hack video right now. So the first style hack has to do with shoes. I like traveling. I love to travel. I usually like to take a nice pair of brown monk straps. You guys may see me wearing these monk straps all the time. Sometimes they look very good and classic and clean and sometimes they look very grungy, which you guys love. So the first style hack is how to revive your leather from your shoes. Now, this is going to be very simple because when we do travel, we usually stay at hotels or Airbnb or wherever, and there's usually lotion there. And this is what I use for my monk straps, lotion. So, what you're going to want to do is take your monk straps, apply a little bit of hand lotion to your shoes to butter them up. It's going to hydrate and moisturize the leather uh, on your shoes, and they're going to look a little less grungy, a little less dry, a little less cracky. So this is going to give you some more life to your shoes. It's going to moisturize your leather for about 40, 28 to 48 hours so you'll be good to go and if you don't have time to go get your shoe shined, this is going to be a good life hack and it's very accessible because we all have lotion. I love this hack because it gets me out of the situations where I need to have my shoes clean if I'm wearing a suit and I'm not wearing denim jeans with uh, my monk straps or my leather brown shoes, then this brings it back to life for the time that I need it to be in, revived. So I love this life hack, you guys should definitely try it and it does not harm your shoes. The second life hack is something you guys see me do all the time and this is because I love wearing polo shirts but I don't like wearing polo shirts with old ribnet. And ribnet is probably the hardest thing to ever try to restructure once it's messed up and stretched out, especially if the shirt is very old, then ribnet doesn't really come back to life. You could try to iron the shirt, you could try to press the collar on your polo shirt but ribnet is very fragile in the sense where if you press it too hard, then the crease will just become white or it just won't, it just doesn't look that good. Like you cannot restructure ribnet once it's fucked up. The best advice for you is to just cut it off. So here I have a nice old school horizontal stripe polo and the ribnet is very flimsy and there's really no bringing this back to life. So what I love to do is take a pair of nice shears and cut the collar off like this. Since polos don't have collar bands, it's harder to get more structure out of them because there is no support underneath them. So that's why polo shirts are very hard to bring back to life because the rib knit once it's messed up and it's going to be flimsy and flappy and it's just not going to have any structure, guaranteed structure throughout the entire day. So instead of trying to manage it throughout the entire day and be self-conscious, cut it off. Just cut it off with a pair of scissors. My third men's style hack is socks. Now, I like to wear socks with my shoes no matter what. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I usually like to pack a regular pair of socks because if I need to dress up and I need some long socks to cover up my ankles and I have some socks. Let's say that I wore all my no-show and all my no-shows and they're dirty and I don't have time to do laundry. Then this is when my third style hack kicks in a full effect. Now, you have a pair of socks that's regular length and all you need is a pair of scissors to make no-show socks. And this is how you do it. Now, the reason why I do this is because I do not like going on with my day without socks. I used to do it all the time, but now I don't do it because I sweat a lot and sometimes it's very hot. My shoes become very smelly if I don't wear socks with it no matter what. So I usually like to have some kind of barrier between my shoes and my feet and that's gonna be socks no matter what. Go ahead and just cut them, it's super easy and you could also reuse them as well. So this works if you don't have no-show socks. Now this fourth style hack is something that seems very complicated to find online, which is very, very easy and I'm amused on why this style hack has become so complicated or the process has just been so tedious and especially looking at other style hacks on Google. So it's when your t-shirt shrinks. We've all had that issue when your t-shirt shrinks. It usually shrinks. We usually don't pay attention to t-shirts. At least when I wash them, I just throw them in with my underwear. I don't really care about them. 
But uh, let's say you accidentally wash this t-shirt and it shrinks and it's a little bit too small. The only thing you have to do is take the iron, heat the iron up, and to start ironing your shirt in a vertical manner, very slowly, so the fibers could open up and stretch out. Because our t-shirts are made out of knit jersey, which are which consist of very nice, tight fibers. And all you need to do is, in order for those fi fibers to deactivate, is through heat. So all you need is heat. You don't need to soak in the water and put in a conditioner. That's just going to take you a very long time. So what you need to do is just make sure that you iron it very slowly and generous down in a vertical manner so that your shirt could stretch out and the fibers could open up. Now my last hack consists of jeans and sometimes your denim fly opens up maybe the jeans are too old or maybe the zipper just isn't fully functional anymore for some weird reason but what I like to do is I want to make sure that I prevent this from happening when I'm wearing my denim or even my dress pants so the easiest thing to do is if you do have a problem with your zipper and it doesn't stay up even if you push it and you lock it up then what you're gonna need is one thing and that's just a keychain ring and you're just gonna put it on the head of the zipper and you're just gonna attach it and close it through your button hole and lock it with the button and this is how you do it this is a very good hack because like I said I don't like being self-conscious about my zipper being down I want to make sure that it's up and it's fully functional because it's a very important area it's a very discreet area only very important people get to see that area so you want to make sure that you are locking that jaw in place and you're making sure that your zipper is fully functional at all times and you don't have to worry about it going down so these are my five style hacks that i use on my daily basis these are my style rituals if you will and these are my go-to style hacks if i need to if you guys want to see more of my fashion and style go to my instagram at bob carlsberto i post all my outfits on there thank you guys for stopping by my youtube channel if you do like it please comment down below leave a comment let me know the highlighted young spade of the week is so make sure you go show him some love as well uh we're a young spade community we all support each other because we're all in the same uh, boat and we're all rowing the same boat we're all rowing the same boat and we're all in it to win it so let's go ahead and follow each other support each other Thank you guys so much for stopping with my YouTube channel this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this style hack. Don't forget to put style on everything. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.